That would have probably been the smart thing to do. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Hey, you wanna know what though? That was one quick way down to the artifact. Alrighty guys, welcome back to Ark, where today we're gonna be going to the Old Tunnels Cave. Now, that one is the kind of the central cave in the map. And uh, before we go though, I do wanna show you guys something here that I have done. I have got my thorny dragons and my moralitopses done. Also, I did get my jeroboas and vultures. My vultures are currently over in the cryo fridge. I was legit just cleaning out my inventory and decided to go just throw them in there because I don't have them out laying eggs. Um, but here's my jeroboas as well. I did do it. I was able to manage. I got the high health and the high melee. I mean, I don't know what that's going to do for a jeroboa. But, I mean, at least they won't get one shot, you know? That's the good thing with that 64 points in the health. But, yeah, anyways, we're gonna go hop on the Fire Wyvern here. Um, I still need a name for the Fire Wyvern here, guys, so please do drop a name for him. Um, we do got the Oasis Sword over there. He's just kind of chilling. Uh, I, again, I really want to set him up kind of like how I had Crush Base set up, where he's my tech base, and he's also, like, where I store all my dinos on this map, or where I store my, uh, you know, my genetic library of dinos, my perfect breeding pairs, so that way I can replicate them. So, I need to head, if I'm correct, that way. I need to head down more. Okay, so it's kind of over by this mountain here, and I could have guessed, I guess I could have just rode my train out. Because that would have probably been the smart thing to do, because look... My tracks are right there. The cave is right down in here. So, like, you see this little canyon here that's cut in? Down in here, somewhere, should be that cave. The cave entrance. <clears throat> also, sorry if I'm sounding, like, pretty sick today. Last two days, I was not feeling too good. That's why I'm going to be kind of honest. The quality of the videos was awful. I mean, I could have definitely done better. Um... But, yeah, I'm just kind of not feeling too good here. So I'm hoping just to get this cave video out the way. So that way I have a video up for you guys. And then I'm going to go just sleep. <clears throat> My throat is just raw. Got a sore throat is the problem. I, here's the cave. This is the cave. It seems pretty safe. You may notice, though, I am packing some ant... Oh, my God. I forgot Blossom! I forgot my Mantis. I gotta go back to base. Okay, we're on the train. I just kinda hit start on it. And, uh, where's Blossom in here? One of these Mantises is Blossom. Yep, Blossom. There she is. So, yeah. Anyways, Fire Wyvern's just mounted on top. I'm gonna drive the train down to that cave. Just so that way, if I do die, I have a bed nearby. Like, I have a bed here, and then I have my tools and all that. I got... I'm probably going to redo this car here. I don't see the point in having two generators. It's kind of pointless. Honestly. Okay, so we've finally gotten the train back over this way. You may also notice that I have rearranged the train cars here as well. Where uh, a couple of them are blank. And I was planning on building on them and doing up... Uh, new cars for the train but we'll get to that later we'll probably do that next week i think hopefully okay so now we're gonna go into the cave i got blossom this time so that way we are good we got our mantis what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop her in boom she's out you know what i forgot i forgot her swords i am i'm just so glad though that they're on the train all righty there you go blossom there's your swords now you got your weapons, and I'm pretty sure I can just walk in with you, yep. I'm pretty sure Thor should be fine right there, he should be pretty good. Or that's not Thor, that's the Fire Wyvern. Thor is still cryopotted up, sorry, I have two Wyverns now and I can't remember what... Which one's which, sometimes. I know one's Lightning and one's named Thor. And, uh, the Fire one does not have a name yet. 
Ooh, there's like actual bug. We need to be careful. Last time we did that, we lost a we lost a good a good mount. What's this way? I'm gonna go right for some reason. Oh damn. Alright, let's let's head back. We'll check what the left path was. I'm pretty sure that's just another way down, maybe. And I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be an explorer note somewhere. I think that's just another way down. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is just the other way, because I'm pretty sure I went left here. Yeah. Okay. So now let's keep advancing in. We're just going to go down this way. I do like the way this cave looks now. It's a little creepy, though, with the spider eggs just on the ceiling, or the insect eggs. <clears throat> Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good. No, put it away. I want I need swords. These one shot these things. These swords are so good paired with her melee. They're just one shot weapons. Watch. Well bam. <laughs> That's why I love mantises for caving, especially when you have a good pair of swords to equip them with. I need to just get good chainsaws for me. I haven't found any good chainsaws. Honestly, I don't even think I've seen a chainsaw from a drop. No, yeah, I have. I've gotten a primitive one. Maybe they don't drop anymore on different... Is that a thing? Do chainsaws no longer have, like, ascendant value? Like, uh... Like rocket launchers? Did they... Did they neuter them? Oh, shit. Ah. Cannot cry owl cat recently injured. I don't know how recently injured you are. I'm pretty sure you should be good. Oh, it was letting me there. Alright. Remember to stay strapped. Okay. We're probably good here to throw a blossom back out. I'm pretty sure this isn't the cave that has... No, I'm pretty sure all the caves have them. Rumble golems? I'm pretty sure all the caves have rumble golems in them. It's just how... What's the chance of them spawning? You know? Damn. This cave looks really good now. So you wrap around and it goes down. I'm just, I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot, and I just realized. I dropped her swords. I forgot cryopotting. Uh, it's been a hot minute, though, since I used Blossom. I'm pretty sure I'm only going to be using her for caving. Or maybe even resource gathering. She'd be pretty good if I threw her a hatchet and all that on her so this thing starts wrapping around here i haven't seen any of the explorer notes but i also haven't really been looking for them there's the artifact there's a red loot crate in the middle i should have probably brought skittles with me so i could have flown out that would have probably been the smart thing to do Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Hey, you want to know what, though? That was one quick way down to the artifact. Oh, just give me it all. Okay, that, that was, uh, not what I wanted to happen. I was hoping I would get caught on the red artifact. Is there any artifact down here at the bottom? Sometimes the... They have stuff that spawns at the bottom. 
Watch it only be bad stuff. Like, this is where the rumble golem is, and it pins me in. What is that? Oh, it's Akatina paste. I guess that's what I get. I get rewarded with a single piece of Akatina paste. Yeah, there's nothing down here. I think there is a chance of a loot crate spawning down here, but one just hasn't. So, we're going to try and get back up here to the, the top. I'm hoping, hoping we can get across. We might have to cryo her up and then manually have me, like use me to jump. Instead, um, yeah, we'd have to get off cryo her and then jump across. That's, that's how it would be. I'm pretty sure that's how it's going to have to be. Okay. Give me your swords this time so I don't forget about them. Cryopod. I don't think I need to bring the rockets like I, like I thought I was. For some reason, I thought this cave was going to be harder than the last. And then we'll check the loot crate here. What did we get? Ascendant hide. I'll take the oil jars. That hide. I have better hide on the island. I do, honestly. Boom. Now we're over. Okay. We should be fine. I'm just going to run as far as I can here. We're going to try and get to that crawl point that we were at. And then we'll pop her back out and run out. There shouldn't be anything. Also, it's weird seeing the dripping... Uh. Yeah. That. Okay, we're on the other side now. We're going to pop her swords on and we're going to go. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the easiest cave compared to the last one. I guess technically all the scorched caves, in my opinion, are fairly easy on single player. Honestly, because not much stuff spawns in. Like, how many creatures did we run into? Six? And how many did we run into last time? Like, 20 and they all like this is a one shot dude like watch a anything he hits is one shot like even the snail it's just the awesome thing about mantises with swords is that they one shot everything now that's not everything to be honestly a rock golem could pretty much mess this mantis up in a like a split second like just blink in the, the mantis's dust all right point and click for pink mist that's what happens like so don't fight a rock golem with a mantis i would do want to test though because i'm not 100 percent about it if you can damage a rock golem with a mantis with pickaxe with it having a pickaxe on its hands that might be a thing i don't know it could be i know that they take damage from uh rockets about it also let's make sure we get the train back home I'm not joking. Uh, the other day, I popped off the wyvern off. I was sitting over by Blue Ob in the train. I popped the wyvern and just flew back to base for some reason. And then I went and tamed the oasisaur. And well, guess what? I forgot where my train was in that process. So I spent the entirety of this morning flying around looking for my train. All right? And eventually, I passed over it three times before I noticed it. Okay? That was my favorite part about today. Is that I was that blind. I couldn't even see my train. Like, where it was parked. Also, this dude, like, yeah. I'm so glad that you fit perfectly on one of these that I can just transport you. Transporting wyverns by train. But yeah, anyways, I'm pretty sure that's going to be it for this episode, guys. We've gotten our artifact. It's just going to be a plain, simple episode again. I'm not feeling the greatest in the world right now. So, that's why. Um, also, yeah, here's our vultures. I know I didn't show them to you exactly this morning, but these are the two vultures. They're 31. They're level 231. They came out with the exact same colors and exact same uh, stats. That took me probably about good three tries before I finally got them so if you guys are doing the same thing as me trying to make like genetic libraries I know a lot of times it's mostly like PVPers that try and balance out stats uh, PVE you just kind of really need to buff your uh, per your single player settings I try and keep mine really close to vanilla I'm really trying to work them out again because I feel like 
I feel like they're good, but I feel like they're also, uh, meh. But I'm also feeling like they're good because I'm also, uh, I'm max level, almost. I guess I'm still, uh, what am I off by? I'm still not level 130. Uh, yeah, I guess I need to hit 130 and then I'm max and then I gotta go for the Bob's Tall Tales Explorer Notes for that plus 5. So, I'm wondering if that's across all DLC, all three of them, or if it will just give me it if I get the ones that are out already. Kinda like it did, oh, damn it, this tree respawned. I'm literally going to go back and uh, put a pillar. Where is this tree colliding with the track? Oh, that's perfect. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what's happening, is that tree's colliding with the track. Yeah. Oh, I gotta... I gotta run back down to a place where it touches, and that's just up over here. I can actually, I can see a place where I can get up. No, I can't. Yes, I can. This happens a lot, I'm not gonna lie. So, sometimes you have obstacles that respawn on your tracks, and that's the problem. That's why a lot, a lot of it towards the end are like suspended tracks high above. Was that snake chasing me? Oh, shot my tracks. That's good. So, 115 snake. Come on. Boom. Re-engage the engines. But yeah, anyways, if you guys have found yourself at any point today liking this episode, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. And remember to hit that notification bell so that way you guys get notified upon me posting videos. Also, if you guys don't know, I am currently running a sub goal and a members goal. So for the sub goal, we are currently trying to reach 10,000 subs this year. We just hit 2,000. I honestly still believe we can hit that goal of 10,000. So let's keep it up, guys. And if you guys want to go above being a sub, we are running that membership goal. It is $1.99 to join the YouTube channel members. Um, and once we hit that goal of 10 members, we will be opening up an ARC server, yeah. And anyways, this has been Gun Shai Mori. Signing off. Peace.